Well, I moved to Beijing. Um, I didn't really care about coffee. It's literally over like the last probably six months or so that I've really got into the pour over coffee scene. My name's Daniel. I'm from a place called Essex in England and I've been living in Beijing for about two years. Good beans. Grind size, which means a good grinder is vital. Water temperature, because you know, the water temperature has such an impact on the reaction, just like tea as well, you know? If you scorch the tea, you're gonna get a different flavor to if you use barely lukewarm water. Um, then the preparation method, the time you're using for it. You know, there's all these variables and stuff that basically you work out through experience what makes your favorite cup of coffee. Getting into coffee ruined coffee for me. Uh, ruined it, absolutely ruined it. But, what it also means now is that I can really appreciate a good cup of coffee as well. Now I know what I'm looking for. Every day of your life you're learning, right? When you teach, you actually learn more as well. When I'm doing these seminars, I'm learning so much about how to gauge people's reactions. You know, like asking people to write the first words that come into their minds on the cups is fantastic because, you know, especially asking them not to try and use pretentious sommelier like words just say like what's the first thing that comes to your mind you know it means that you can truly understand what people are thinking about i did some drawings of the coffee making equipment for use in the seminars basically